It's either a thalamus or well, it's nice. If it's if it's an artifact, then it's not a thalamus. Oh, sorry, sorry. Do we have? Uh, did we? It was the Rex salvage. Yeah, there is Rex salvage. Okay, Rex salvage. My apologies. Okay. It's either a thalamus or a good payday. Yep. Ready? Uh, yes. Begin. The fitness gram pressure test is a multi-stage fitness. Oh, we didn't buy repairs, dang it. I should have just had all the things on the ship repaired. Okay. Where does cargo get dropped off? The top? The top, yeah. Because that's the hatch. That's where the hatch is. Yeah. The wreck is 2,242 meters away. That's the furthest I've ever seen. Here's your steel and uh, aluminum. Can you please make like a bunch of toolboxes? Yeah. Okay, that's opium. This is the one revolver round I ordered. Because I only used one revolver round. And this is my chloral hydrate and stabilizing. Yeah, I didn't realize how, like, important chloral hydrate is now. Yeah. It's what you use to knock people out, but you also need it to make anti paralysant That makes sense. You usually need- you, you often use a poison to fix a poison. I use the stones to destroy the stones. <laughs> oh, uh, no... no impact, okay. Redundancy is redundant. Well, no, a redundancy to a redundancy is redundant. Redundant. Yes. Redundancy in speech is oftentimes gratuitous. Redundancy in machinery is oftentimes fortuitous. I'm gonna write that down. Come on. And... okay. Oh, wait, no, no the power needs to not turn off while I'm Stopping us from crashing. Why is the power flickering? Hold on, please. I don't know how to click. Oh, I just turned up. The, I just turned up the battery. Again? Did it restart again? It was at forty. It's supposed to be at forty. Oh, contacts. Uh, bottom right. Bottom left. Bottom left. Two. What's going on with the power? I don't know. There's two fuel rods in there. It's not the reactor doing it. Maybe Check you're just spot. maybe you're just draining the uh uh do you have a supercapacitor attached to the engine? No, or should I? No, I didn't think you did. I'm just curious. Brace. Brace clear. No, you're fine. Where did you see those bogies were? They're falling behind, but they're directly uh, left now. Oh, bogey's in front. Just spawned in front of us. They're on the top now. Top? Okay. Top, top, top nose, and rear. Yep, they're raptors. Mm-hmm. Okay, Rex, 870 meters an hour. All right, I'm making a cargo crate of toolboxes. Damn. Okay, that worked. Oh, there you are. You little... What? What? Okay. Come on, aim straight for that weak spot. You got got it. Top top. Hit that rear. weak spot. Got it again. One shot. One kill. Did you say there was more? Uh, it's either dead or falling behind. I think it's dead because it's not moving. Okay. What is wrong with the power? Why is it flickering? I'm like, every couple, every so many seconds I get a uh, full power drop on my screen. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh. Junction boxes look fine. Yeah, I've got enough engine, I've got enough power in engine and ballast. Main grid? I mean, yeah, fix the main grid. How bad was the main grid right there? Barely. Okay, so it wasn't that. I hope this isn't, like, a another overall issue I've missed. 
Are we checking the engine? No. Well, that wouldn't affect my readout up here at the captain's room. Oh, yeah, no engine. It's doing alright. Oh, you should start making those reactor rods right now because we're down to the last one. Yes, we do that. All right. Um, yeah, I'm fixing the ballast right now. We'll Just take the ones that are used, deconstruct them, and then make reactor rods with those pieces and the uranium and thorium that we got from the wreck. I'm not I reading any no of the breaches, but um, would someone go up to the top airlock and swap the doors so yep. they're properly? Oh, uh, uh, bottom right, bottom right contact, small. Oh, there, the doors are swapped properly. Oh, oh, I don't have an oxygen injector in there. Okay. Three That's a lot of crawlers. Off. Yeah, it's a lot more than three actually, I think. Oh, two new ones. It's like six. Five, six, yeah, six. Oh, I think there might be a few husks approaching. No, I don't think so. Yeah, husks we don't have to worry about, unless we're going outside. Yeah, well, the wreck is right there. Oh. The wreck's 288 meters away, so they can follow us. Got it. I should really look into the character creation for the crawlers and see what their weak spot is. Oh, we got one more contact, bottom right. I think it's done. Oh, wait. I think that one is still alive. Yep. Okay, 250 meters. I hope we'll have enough space to get over it and not have to drop onto it and literally give it the best opportunity if it is a thing. I think up, up. That was. Okay, it's 100 meters and out. Can I get someone That sounded like gun? a bone thrusher. Oh, I'm sorry, there's contacts on us. I stopped paying attention for a few seconds. Contact on us. Bottom south are the medium contacts. Top north are the small small ones. Can you get on the top one then? Can I get on the bottom? Yeah, I've got maintainer position. Where are the bone threshers? That's the bottom. It should be on the bottom. I don't see them though. Oh no, they are on the top. The bone threshers are the ones on the top. No, the small ones are tiger thrushers. Okay, tiger three tiger thrushers up north. Also, Lemon, be careful with your shots. You can't just spray. All, I all... am not even on a gun. Oh, I'm just telling you, said so you know how the ship works. All four coral guns are linked to the same supercapacitor. Um, so you do it. What is the material PB, and do we have? PB is lead. Deconstruct the Sorry. the used reactor rods for lead. I. Did that. Then I should have given you lead. Oh, oh lead. they immediately deposit into the cabinets. Oh, I did not. Yeah, I've got them set up so they immediately deposit into the cabinets. Okay, I think that's all contacts dead. Can you preload the bottom railgun with explosives? I don't think we'll have enough space to pass over top of it, so we may get speared if it is. No, uh, the railgun won't do nothing to it. Okay, I'm gonna try to pass over top of it if I can, but I think we'll come within range. I'm gonna try to scooch around over top, and then to its east side. Oh, oh I thought that was it. That's not it. Okay. We're slipping past. It doesn't look like if it is, it's seen us. Hmm, okay, I can't see it yet, so... Yeah. Hopefully, if we can't see it, it can't see us. Okay. We'll be nose to nose. Well, well, we'll be rear to nose in a few seconds. Okay, you should be in visual range on the rear gun. Oh, yep, I see it. Is it a thumbs? Uh, go up a little bit. Okay, go on up. Nope. Definitely not a thalamus, especially since if it were, we'd be latched. There is, however, a crawler living inside of it. Okay, I'll try to get you over top so you can drop guns on it. Oh, 
Okay, that crawler is dead. Okay, I see a few tiny sparkles moving around, but they're not... There might be bodies floating in the water, just be careful Probably. on your way out. Okay, we're floating above the ship. Go Have your fun, guys. Go forward just a little bit. Okay, going forward. Okay. I can probably handle this one on my own. He's got a bunch of crafting and stuff to do. Okay. Keep my eye on contacts. You should probably keep your eye on the bottom gun. Oh, yeah. We have a bunch of toolboxes if you need. Uh... Okay. I'm trying to make more welding fuel tanks and... No, we can... Yeah, the fuel rods first. We need to make sure that... Uh, can you check the fuel rod in the ship presently? I know... Yeah, no, we're doing good on that right now. Um, point in the bottom, point in the... Where... Do we have any more used fuel rods? That no. you know? I mean, shouldn't. I don't like how the bodies twitch as if they're still alive. Makes me think they are still alive. Okay, I'm outside. Okay. When we leave, I'm gonna test the depth charge on this ship. Okay, I've directed all the lights at the ship. You should be able to see everything. No. Because I'm inside the ship. No, when you leave. Okay. Confirm no contact. You're safe for now. Lemon, can I get you to come up here to the sonar? I have to use the bathroom. It's fine, I got this. Just keep working on your crafting. Okay. Well, I wanted to see if anything starts attacking the ship. Well. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Ooh, chlorine. Nice. Yeah, we will be fine. Found another harpoon gun and a stun baton. I also found a logbook. Yeah, that's the right logbook. Nice. Ooh, there's a lot oh, yeah. of good shit in here. I'm going to begin to try and fill all these oxygen. Oh, yeah. Damn, there's so, there's so much incendium. We don't even have a fucking, uh, uh, flamer, do we? Oh, wait, yeah, we do. I think we do have a flamer. Ooh, titanium. I'm gonna have to come back and make a second trip.
someone should make a mod where there's like a bunch of different colored flares. Yeah, she that sounds pretty cool. Oh shit, I didn't grab a new toolbox. Like, imagine if you had, like, a flare launcher, and you had multiple colors of flares. You could use that to tell people what's going on. And, you know, it would just be a nice aesthetic either way. Where should I put all these toolboxes here? Um, which area are they going in? I mean, I have like just a lot of toolboxes. I don't know. I would well, say just leave them in the fabrication. Oh, I mean, all right, they're in a storage crate. I'm just oh, if they're in a storage. Them. Leave them up in cargo in the top. All right. That's the place where I have the crate holders. Oh. Oh. Well, here's an empty storage crate. Deconstruct this, please. It's in, it's in that. Grab the empty one and deconstruct it. I did already find the logbook, by the way. Okay. Are you just grabbing stuff now? Yep. Okay. Take what you can. Let's Ooh, get out. Two thorium rods. Oh, well, that fixes our uh, fuel problem. Waldo Peterson. He died as he lived. Stupid. Oi. Ooh, slime bacteria. Yes. It's a so good broad spec right there. I was watching a video a few days ago about how to make a monkey ball, which if you don't know what that is, it's a ball bearing or a large ball bearing wrapped in paracord on a bit of a leash as a self-defense weapon. And yeah, I think, I think you've talked about this already. I may have, but not this part. In the video... Uh, what? In the video. Sorry, in the video, in the comment section, um... People were asking him to test it out on something like a watermelon, and he was like, ah, I might do that in a video in the future, and I was just like, nah, nah, plausible deniability. Because he kept, he, he didn't call it a self-defense weapon, he called it a blunt force tool. And so, um, it, it, it sounded like he was using YouTube clean speak. And so I, I've made, I made the joke that no, he shouldn't test it on the watermelon for plausible deniability. Okay, I'm inside. Okay. Would you actually, uh, apparently, a friend of mine just bought the game and would like to join us. Would you guys be okay with a few more games? Oh, I'd have to go get a drink. <laughs> it's you can say no. I can play with it myself. Well, I'm fine. I just need to cool off. I'm really fucking overheated right now. Okay, we'll take a maybe you pause the recording. We take a 15 minute break. I get my friend in, and then we can start playing. Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, we should probably finish this mission. Oh yeah, we'll finish the mission. We'll even continue on the seed. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll just uh, we'll take a minute, take a break, say goodbye to the fans. Do we have fans? We have enough, we have subs, but do we have fans? Probably not fans. <laughs> like what kind of fans? Like are we talking spawn cooler? 
swamp cooler? That sounds like an industrial fan. Yeah, you know. Okay, 600 meters and out. I need to figure out, without looking it up, what is the best thing to use for burns. I mean, I, I could physically tell you in this world, but I don't know if it's got a reciprocal in this world, in the game. Uh, what top, is it in top this contact. World? In this world, um, hold on. Let me think if I can tell you the actual, like, medicine name for it. I may have to Google it myself because I know what it is, but. I mean, honestly, most people would just say burn cream, and there are things labeled as burn cream. Aloe vera is incredibly good for. Um, yeah. For... There is no aloe in this game, though. Yeah. Which makes sense. I mean, the only way you'd be able to get aloe is if you grow it specifically in a lab, or if you ship it all the way from Earth. Which they, they apparently can't get back. What if Earth is actually perfectly fine? They just lost space time. That would suck. Yeah. Like, what, what if Earth is actually like? What if they know Earth is fine? Like they've got, <clears throat> they've got communication. They just lost the space tech because on, they're not able to build a station that's able to launch back into orbit. Yeah, all that water is probably also like fucking with engines and shit. Well, no, you could make a surface level station on top of the ice, but imagine if like there aren't the resources or the atmosphere or something's making it a problem. So they're. Like, Earth knows they're here, they know Earth is there, they're just not able to go back. Wouldn't they... Honestly, that would be terrifying in itself. To know that you're stuck there and there's no help coming. No, no, they could send help, they could send more people. Yeah, I mean, like, they yeah, they, they, that's true, you know. They can have communication with Earth and be like, yo, we need help, but <laughs> good luck ever actually getting anyone back to fucking Earth. Yeah, maybe there's some complication in getting back. Like, what if yeah. they went Welcome there- Welcome to Delta Airlines. We're sorry, we only give one pass tickets these days. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, imagine, like, what if they used drill ships to break through the ice in the first place? But then they had a failure in the process, and the ships they made weren't able to make it back. It probably so wouldn't like, be drill ships. To get through the ice? No, it probably be wouldn't be a drill ship. Might be a type of drill platform, but I doubt it'd be a drill ship. Okay. Too many well, variables. I've docked, so I don't know why the mission isn't ending. Because I oh. changed it. Oh, okay, sure. So here, I can just end it manually. Okay. Well, let's pause the recording, give you your break, and I can get my friend in. Yep. I'll invite him to the chat. I don't well, that think will do it for this episode, guys. I'm going to record another one right after this. But this is the end of this recording session. Bye-bye. See you guys later.